Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Emily Gear, multidimensional channel and transformative energy healer. Thank you so much for being here, for watching my video, for your likes. Hit like now, please. Your subscribes, your shares, all of your comments. I really enjoy reading them, so thank you. Um, I am starting a new project. And that is going to be doing, trying to do Zodiac readings for you guys each week. Um, though this first cycle, I admit, is going to be bi-weekly because I plan on uh, traveling back to the Midwest um, this coming week. So this reading is through June 22nd. And um, can't promise I can keep up the schedule, but I'm really going to try. It is my intention to keep up this, this schedule. So these readings are general and they're overviews of the energies and the ascension energies coming in during the times. Um, and it's for your specific sign, obviously. Also, um, check your sun, your moon, your rising or your Venus sign because sometimes relationships do come into the mix. However, there are extended readings for each of these signs and these will deal directly with relationships and also um, provide an energy healing for uh, your sign specifically. So you can see that link in the info box below. Please do check it out. I appreciate your support in that way. And um, without further ado, let's get some cards for Scorpio through the 22nd of June, please. Scorpio through the 22nd of June. What's going on for Scorpio? What's going on for Scorpio, please, through the 22nd of June? Okay, that's good. We've got the six of coins coming up. Let's see what else wants to come out with that. <coughs> I apologize, all right. Believe it or not, the tree pollen in New York City is worse than the tree pollen in the Midwest. Okay. So you've got the six of coins here. And let's see what else just popped out. You've got the eight of wands, which a ton of signs have gotten this time around. You have the set, wait, five, six, seven, seven of pentacles. the Ace of Wands, and the Devil. The Devil keeps coming out too, so there's a lot of clearing going on. Um, okay, so with the first card coming out, the Six of Pentacles, I feel like during this period, there is going to be a big focus. Um, this can be any kind of balancing of giving and receiving, so that may come up for you in relationships. But I feel like for a lot of you, this is kind of about um, getting yourself financially stable or solvent and that you've been in the process of doing this for some time. Um, I almost, yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, this is work related where you are um, trying to make sure that you are in uh, basically getting what you deserve, getting what you're worth from your job or from whatever you're doing. Um, primarily I'm feeling that this is in compensation, like paid compensation, but you know, maybe this has to do with a volunteer job or, you know, you're caring for an elderly parent or something in, um, in this giving and receiving this getting compensation comes down to maybe more of an appropriate thank you or feeling appreciated okay um so so that's been on your mind a lot lately is is like is balancing that out feeling like feeling appreciated feeling compensated feeling balanced feeling like you are giving and receiving an equal amount um, and just being tired I, I'm hearing that sick and tired of um, always being the one to take a haircut always being the one to kind of be on the short end of the stick so if that's you, then, um, then that is, is kind of getting wrapped up at this point. Um, I do feel like, okay, so I, f I feel like there is a good chance that um, 
you might have been in a difficult situation uh, emotionally in the last few days and this today is the 13th so but whenever you're hearing this you know it might be true so I'm almost feel, okay so just so I can spit it out I, I feel like the energy that has been surrounding us now and I do believe the moon is in Scorpio uh, on this day actually and so it's possible that your emotional uh, you have been in, in deeper emotional de uh, like depths than, than usual, even though, you know, as a Scorpio, you do have deep emotional depths already. Um, I think that it is the energy surrounding you right now that is pushing you through that. And this is allowing you to get a better, it's allowing, it's taking you around the block so that, and this is like mentally and emotionally, so that you come back to this awareness of your own self-worth, what you're worth, um, what you're entitled to, I'm hearing entitled to, um, <clears throat> and also understanding what balance is for you. So you may be going through something where, you know, you're, your body has been out of balance for a time and you're really focused on getting back there, whatever that is, you're, you're really getting an idea of what that means for you. It's going to take you some time to get there because even though the energies are supporting it and the energy is coming in, it's like kicking it off. It's like getting, getting it moving because you've got, but you've got the seven of pentacles here, which means it's going to be a process of getting there. <clears throat> um, I don't want you to lose, I don't want you to, they don't want you to lose faith. They being the record keepers don't want you to lose faith or hope or to sort of bail out on the process early, okay? Because it is coming in. You are getting this new beginning with the, um, I'm sorry, someone's trying to call, with the Ace of Wands. Um, and this is gonna be a big new start for you. Like it's gonna change uh, once you achieve this kind of balance, it is going to cha change the way that your energy moves because when you are feeling yourself as worthy of receiving what you're giving out, like this could be in any sector. This could be in the, your, the emotional sector. This could be in mo like money, um, receiving due compensation for you know your work. This could be your physical body, like eating better or changing uh something something about your uh your routine to be healthier to be less you know so that you're not i don't know why it's saying so that you're not destroying your body so whatever that means if that means something to somebody but you are going to get this big this new chance this new beginning and it's going to change the way that you interact with the rest of the world um in order to do that though there's going to be some looking into the dark okay with the devil coming up here so it's almost like this is them saying, you're going to get this, you're going to get this, but you are going to have to cut these chains. You're going to have to, this is breaking certain addictions. And I feel like for a lot of you, this comes down to, to, uh, okay, I went to Catholic school for 12 years. So they're reminding me that what you learn in Catholic school is that, um, life is pain, <laughs> that you reach that you reach um enlightenment or heaven or whatever you want to call it by suffering okay and that is not reality that's not balance that's giving all and receiving nothing right that's not what we're doing anymore that's not what we're here to do that's not what we're meant to do we need this restart we need this reset of our entire uh, energetic system <clears throat> which is being provided by the universe at this time and it's coming in whether we like it or not right it's going to take some time to get there but they are going to need to clear these old beliefs or uh, you know addictions dependencies um, uh, emotional hang-ups codependency all of this stuff needs to be cleared all right, it's different for all of you. So many of you, it is simply a negative thought pattern <clears throat> surrounding your deservingness, 
deserving this compensation, okay? Deserving this thanks, deserving this equal, it wants to come out like equal pay, but you know what I mean. It's like anything could be that. <clears throat> there's no more of this idea, or there, there shouldn't be any more of this idea of being less than or that it is it is preferable or higher or better to suffer, okay? There's no more of that. Let's see what else wants to come out now that I've harped on that for a full 10 minutes. Okay, what else wants to come out for Scorpio? Oh, for God's sake. This keeps coming out for everybody. This is the waxing gibbous. And this is today. So it could be that these energies are really kicking off today. Um, if not today, then it's talking about that the next time this moon phase appears is around, let's see, 30 days are in June and the moon cycle is 28 days. So it's gonna be around July 11th or 12th that this phase is going to appear, okay? So somewhere in that time frame, this is really gonna kick off. Now this reading goes till the 22nd. So I think this is them saying, here we are, it's happening today. Um, so just keep that in mind, all right? Let's see what else wants to come out for Scorpio, please. Scorpio. You're gonna make it though. You're gonna get there. Here's the six of wands. Whatever it is that you're going through, even though um, it feels like it's going to be very difficult with this eight of swords also coming up here. Wait, that's the eight, right? Five, six, seven, eight, yeah. It's sad that I have to count it every time. So you're really tying yourself up in your head, worrying about how this is gonna be, how this is gonna work. Am I worthy of this or am I um, Am I gonna be rejected? Whatever your situation is, it's gonna be different, but it's got you all tied up and you've not been moving forward on it because you're fearing, you're fearing this, but you're gonna make it, you're gonna get there. Because here's the six of wands, this is that victory card, okay? Um, now, I don't know what victory is, okay? Sometimes what we think is victory, the universe has a different idea of what that victory looks like. So we've got to not be fearful of what that's gonna look like, but just know that our highest and best good is going to be done in this situation, okay? You also, part of this give and take could be recognition, which is another meaning for this card. Could be that you are recognized by your boss, by um, a family member, by whoever you're helping, by an organization or whatever, that you're given the attention that you deserve, okay? Um, But it could also be, and you will be, I feel that you will be uh, successful in breaking these habits, patterns, dependencies, codependency, whatever, okay? Your fear is all that's holding you back. And so the only thing that really needs to be overcome here is your mind, your own mind, which you have complete control over, uh, even though that definitely is, I wanna say it's easier said than done, but it really is that simple. We just need to really wrap our wrap our our heads around it. You're gonna once you are able to escape this mental prison, this whatever this addictive behavior is, if it's negative thought patterns or could be drugs or alcohol or codependency, like I said, um, you're gonna experience a brand new level of uh, sovereignty, okay? Of stability, of standing on your own two feet, of feeling contentment, feeling uh, joy, happiness. Um, this also for some of you is really gonna bring in some more recognition, almost like look at so-and-so, look what she's been able to do or he's been able to do, okay? So I feel like you, know, you may be breaking away, gaining independence from a habit or from another person who has been uh, leeching off of you forever or has been manipulative or it could be any of those things, right? Um, 
you're gaining independence. You're gaining independence specifically from something that is so deeply ingrained within you with the Hierophant coming up here. It's so deeply ingrained that um, I'm hearing 10 or 20 years ago, you didn't even know it was a problem. Could be less, but I'm hearing 10, 20 years ago, you didn't even know it was a problem. This is the old guard that's passing away. Something that you were told Something that you were told would always be true is no longer true. It's going away. And there's a new truth in town, and that truth is defined by you, okay? For your life, whatever that means for you, okay? So I'm going to leave it there. Um, we're going to continue in the extended reading. Um, in the extended reading, we're going to touch on relationships, or actually I'm not going to touch on it. We are going to dive deep into relationships of any kind, specifically romantic, but if it doesn't resonate with you, it could absolutely be a friendship, another family member, or a work type relationship, creative relationship. And um, we're also going to do an energy healing specifically for the Scorpios, depending on what all comes out in the, re in the readings, okay? If this is where we end for this this uh, segment, then I appreciate you being here. Please hit like, um, please subscribe, and I will talk to you again next time. Okay, bye.